Hey, I'm gonna change the brake pads on this little Subaru. It's Ray Bestus. I got them up off the internet. They're a lot cheaper than uh, uh, getting rid of the local parts store. Even though these are a little like that, they're considerably more expensive than the ones for the front. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and spray some of this gook and pucky on them. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's just red junk. I'll just put it down here and put a little on the back. I think it's supposed to uh, make it quieter or something. I don't know. That's good enough for that. And of course, you got to take the sleeve off. It's easier if I do it in my right hand because I'm right handed. Yeah. A little noisy, but. That's the way the old cookie crumbles. Uh, this is not so much for people that's done this before, but there's probably maybe some younger folks that's not changed it and like to know how to do it. It's pretty much the same on all cars that's got the uh, disc brakes on the drum. Now this one here's got a drum brake, but that's your emergency brake inside there. So then you've got to get back here and get your, I don't know if that's a 12 or a 14 back there. We shall see in a, in a little bit of a time here. That's a 17. We know that ain't yet. This is a. I don't think that's. I don't think it's smaller. Than, must be a 14. See, I got these things all mixed up. That's a 16. That's 14 right here. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. And I like these. I mean, I've got other tools too, but these here. It's got the hole through them. I don't know if I'm holding this brake sit or not, but no matter how long that shaft is out there, you get that off of that. So let me see if we can proceed here with this. This is yeah, get back here. Get back here right now. And get that one loose, and then there's one down here. I only got two of them. Yeah, there we go. And just spin these off here. I'm not sure how bad these shoes are, my pads are, if they're bad at all or not. But uh, I heard a scraping noise, huh? but they might possibly be what it is. This is that little car I got here the other day. It's supposed to be a parked car, but it turned out to not be. All right. Well, they're not that. They're not that bad. I mean, I could go on a long time with them, but. Uh, Got these new ones. We'll put them on just a minute. I gotta get my big old pliers so I can squeeze that cylinder in. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Back again. <coughs> and for those, of course, that have worked on this, they'll realize that uh, you gotta push that piston back in there by some by some means. It's about as easy with this. And then, I don't know if that goo is set here long enough or not, but it don't make too much difference. I don't think. Let's see. And they got these little slots in here that these have to fit in. That is, it's the right one. Yeah. That one fits there perfectly. And then we get this one. Obviously, it goes on the other side. It's a little more tricky because you can't. You gotta get on the other side to see it. And uh, that, yeah, here. Actually, you should probably tie this thing up with a piece of wire because you don't want to bust your uh, brake line back there. I might wind up having to look under this thing, even though I don't really want to, in order to get that to see how where that goes. Uh, it's gotta be in the little, little clips like this. Dirt there that's not going to help anything either. And let's see, got it right there. And this one is supposed to go up in here. It's better if you can get them started at the same time. Okay, there we go. That's that. And then we'll see if these things got. Yeah, they're, they move real free, so, you know, they, they're, I guess they got plenty of grease, you know, so, because they got. They must move free because you're. Uh, this thing here floats on here. And, uh, Push down. Uh, get in, get in, get in. 
Okay. And of course, that's good too. What I'm getting at is this thing here has to move, equalize when you put your brakes on. Now, now, if I can just remember, here they are. It's really very simple. These, I mean, for like I said, people have done this before. They work on cars themselves. Why? This is nothing to them because they've already done it. But uh, in case there's somebody out there that uh, hasn't, why this might help a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Get that one in here. Get this one in there. Get that lined up a little better. There. These little things here, they got flat spots on them. They got to set in this little area. I don't know if you can see this or not. But they got to set in there so they'll work out right. You just run them down. Like I said, it's not a not a big job at all on these. The front ones are a little trickier sometimes because they're bigger and what have you. But let me see if I can get this a little bit better like that. There we go. And uh, I know some people might say, well, you ought to have a jack stand under there. but And yes, you probably should. But we're not really underneath the car. Just here at the edge. I uh, I just haven't didn't do it. So anyway, that's the gist of it. Then all we gotta do is put the tire back on. Everybody knows how that works. So uh, slide that dude back up in there and get it lined up. If the jack didn't go down, which it probably did. Which in that case, I'll have to move the camera because I uh, can't get the jack pumped up with with the camera here. Well, like I said, maybe this helps some young folks or that wants to try to do this. It's not hard. You can do it. Just, uh, and I probably didn't, I'm not a very good teacher, so if you got anything out of the deal, great. If not, there's other YouTube channels got it a lot better on there, so. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. There's something I neglected to mention uh, when we did those brakes, and it's fairly important, too, that uh, when you get done with your brake job, don't just jump in your car and uh, take off and assume you're going to have good brakes because you won't have, not at first. You need to essentially compress that piston. That gap's got to be made up. And uh, the way you do that is you sit there and you pump your brakes. The first time it may go all the way to the floor and maybe a few times. And eventually you come up and have good brakes. But uh, I thought it was important to mention that because in case you jump in there and take out on the street out there and you think you brace you get somebody pulls out in front of you jam and brakes on nothing happens well that's not good so that's just a little tidbit there that I did neglect to put in there so uh, bear that in mind when you do your brakes alrighty uh, there again thanks for watching and subscribing